Hi there, my name is Linda and I own the Instabook Toronto Photo Booth Rental Service. Many have requested on how to enter a QR code to receive images in place of Twilio. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Please know in order for this to work, you need to have a dark room gallery subscription. So first we're gonna set up the output, um, which is our template screen. So let's select output. I've already pre-set it from before. I'm doing a Glambu single shot with a logo on the bottom which is why it looks like this. We're gonna ensure that print is selected because I'm gonna be doing prints. Photo to email is set up, so I'm going to select that, as well as post to event gallery. This step is very important. Now we're gonna set up our screen, which is our live view. I'm gonna select edit. So I've already preset this up in advance. Um, I create my own uh, live view screens in Canva because I like to match the event. Um, this is like a rustic event, which is why it's kind of these colors. So I have my graphic in the back. It's called RS that I've saved to my desktop. I have my live view. It's a glam boost, so I have a grayscale and I have my countdown. So now I'm going to start adding the QR code. So I'm going to add artwork in the bottom. I'm going to browse and I'm going to get the same screen, same graphic I have in the background as the one I'm going to add again. So I'm going to click RS Live, that's what I, I titled it. And I'm going to see this uh, one shown. Instead of always, I'm going to edit that and I'm going to custom it. So I'm going to remove all of these. And I'm going to keep these ones. So it's going to, I want it to come up for my end instructions. That's very important. Okay, so it's here, it's popped up, and it's on top of the, the other stuff. So I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to select fill and fit the entire page. So now it's here. And as you can see in the layers, it is the last thing. Now I'm going to add. The QR code and I'm going to select barcode. So I'm going to, I have the gallery set up here, the darkroom help center set here, and I'm going to copy and paste this code. I'll put it in the caption below. Oops. And I'm going to insert it here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to edit this to, so it's custom. And that is for the end instructions only. Okay. I'm going to move it up because the email prompt will be underneath if you want to have that option too. Right in the middle there is perfect. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to go to screens again, select timing and for my end instructions, ensure it's about 10 to 15 seconds so it gives people some time to scan the code. A backup option I do have is this handy sign I created here with my Instagram QR code as well as my gallery QR code. It's going to, this code uh, links to my, my gallery site so they could select any event they want to pretty much and find their photo to download. It's just a good backup so it prevents a big lineup from happening. So I'll show you how this is going to work. I have my lens cap on so it's going to be a dark screen but I'm just going to show you how this works. So I have it all set up here. Touch the start. Okay, so I have it so my user can view their photo if they like it or if we want to restart. So I'm going to click accept and then I have it to prompt them if they'd like to print or how many copies. So I'm going to select one. So down here they can enter their email or they could scan the QR code and this sends them right to the gallery. Keep in mind, um, the first photo pretty much never works because something has to be in the gallery 
first. There has to put like a test shot in there and then the rest of them should work. Um, I will show you what it's gonna look like. I played with it earlier, so I already have a test shot there, so it should be loaded. So here's my gallery site. I delete them as I go. So I'm gonna refresh. And now I have the most recent photo I, I took. So your guests can take a look at all the photos and save it to their device. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If so, please comment below and don't be shy to ask questions.